the Tate brothers have been released. Well, sort of. They're on house arrest, waiting for their trial, which is still hanging out there like a cliffhanger on a Netflix show. More people were dragged into court today. For the name. I moved to Romania 10 years ago. And I found an amazing country full of beautiful people. And I told the whole world about Romania. If you mention the name Romania anywhere in the world, they'll say, Andrew Tate lives there, Andrew Tate lives there. I've done nothing but promote this country. I've done nothing but say fantastic things about Romania endlessly. And when I did this, people would say to me, if Romania is so nice, if it's so safe, it's so beautiful, why has it got such a bad reputation? And I said, well, there's probably a few bad actors, a few bad people who destroyed the entire reputation. Like the few fools at DCOP who just came along and told us that the mothers of our children are somehow human traffic. Tate and the about- Sun reports that Andrew Tate has been slapped with house arrest over some fresh, not so fresh allegations, including trafficking. I've been nice. I've been patient. I've played the game. I've respected the judiciary. I've gone to every appointment on time. But they bust in my house again. And now I've come along saying there's 35 victims. You know, all 30 of those girls, 30 of them, have statements in our defense. 30 say we've done absolutely nothing wrong. Two, up to two more are the mothers of our children. And two more have never even been to Romania. They've never even been here. They just found random girls we knew in other countries and made them sign pieces of paper. This is a setup. It's absolutely disgusting. Fair play to that judge who saw through the bullshit and let us free. Okay. And also, one more thing. The media is complicit. All of you are. When they first threw us in fucking jail, when they first put us in there, you're all running around saying human trafficker. None of you said, where's the evidence? Where's the proof? Where's the pictures? Where's the videos? None. Three years later, they do the same fucking bullshit. And you're all sitting there going, human trafficking. I'm not a human trafficker, clearly. If you human traffic someone, there is evidence. This is a setup. It's a stitch up. The three prosecutors at DCOP in my house, I said, why are you here? There's no case. They said, there's a case if we make one. This is a fucking setup. All of it is. And, and listen, quiet, quiet. 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 I'm not talking to you, sir. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. This, this is a setup. It is done on purpose. And it is designed to come up with the most heinous possible crimes to slander our name. And every single Romanian citizen should be disgusted that they are spending millions of euros wasting their time trying to put innocent men in jail instead of fixing the roads, fixing the hospitals, fixing this country. You have a beautiful country full of beautiful people and three idiots at DCOP have fucked everything. As for money laundering, sure, I'll approach that. Money laundering, no problem. Supposedly, we're money launderers because we buy luxury goods and we try and hide that we buy luxury goods for other people and hide our money. If you buy your girlfriend a handbag in Romania, they charge you with fucking money laundering. This is disgusting. It's disgusting. We have children. This is disgusting. Thank you. Oh, and fun fact, their stuff, like their phones, was seized again. Guess someone's got a collection of Tate Tech by now. According to an exclusive statement to The Sun, Andrew's stuck at home for 30 days. But Tristan, he's living it up. Free to roam, Andrew was previously allowed to travel within Romania, but not anymore. The spokesperson added that the judge in Bucharest dropped this decision at 7.30 p.m. on August 22nd. Talk about a twist in the plot. Even Romania's Minister of Justice chimed in, expressing faith in the legal system. She didn't spill any tea on the specific case, but she did say that crimes like pimping, trafficking minors, and human trafficking are no joke. She also mentioned that the law doesn't care if you're TikTok famous, Instagram rich, or an all-around internet sensation. If you commit the crime, you're going to do the time. Justice doesn't discriminate, not even against social media influencers. And let's not forget, Andrew Tate has been dealing with media attacks like he's dodging raindrops in a storm. Right before he got arrested, he posted a video ranting about how the media loves to twist things and how they're swimming in cash because of it. This is done primarily via the mainstream media because, understand, nobody pays for the mainstream media. Nobody buys it. Nobody wants to consume it. The only reason it even exists, the reason governments invest so heavily in trying to force it down your throat is because they use it as a tool to reinforce their agenda and to push their lies upon you. Along with the circus of mass entertainment, the goal is to keep you placated long enough for them to continue to steal and enslave you. The truth is the truth because it is the truth. And there's too many people who are concerned with how they feel once they see something. If you use your eyes to come to conclusions with basic pattern recognition, Some of those conclusions will be misogynistic, some will be homophobic, some will be racist, but they use these words to scare everybody into coming to these conclusions. So instead, people see things with their own eyes, 
and they're scared to accept these realities because of how they feel about what they see. You should be interested in the truth because of what it is. How you feel should have absolutely nothing at all to do with it. And this empire of lies is only kept afloat by the people who are so morally repugnant that they are concerned with only feeling happy with themselves or other people thinking they're good people as opposed to being interested in the truth itself as truth is a disinfectant. People who sit and want to be seen as a good person, do-gooders, people who are afraid of being seen as the bad guy, these are the worst people in the world because they're the people who betray their common man, turn on the people next to them, and aid the elites in this constant, endless enslavement and plundering. Everything they are trying to convince you of, they are trying to convince you of because it benefits them. The rules are made for the people who make the rules. They're not made for you. The information they tell you is never important. It is designed to placate and enslave you. They do not want you to be informed. They do not want you to know anything that is important. And please also understand the police, the politicians, the judges are as fallible and morally repugnant as everybody else. For the same reason you do not want an average person on the street in charge of your life, it's the same reason you do not want these people in charge of your life because they have their own agendas and they are fallible and they will sell out for their own personal interests above the idea of honor or duty or courage or God. We've entered a post-truth world. Truth has now become subjective. Two plus two does not equal four. Two plus two can equal five if it makes somebody feel good enough about it. We no longer know what a man and a woman is. We no longer believe that men and women should have children. We no longer believe that men should protect society. We no longer believe in any of the core tenets that allowed us to get here in the first place. Things have been the exact same way since the dawn of human time and for the last few years they've been changing. Some people call this progress. I would argue it's a reversion. I would argue that we have no idea where society is headed and we can follow the basic trends using pattern recognition. We can see it is headed down. It is your job every day as a person to look for the truth and regardless of how it makes you feel, it is the truth because truth is the ultimate disinfectant. And in this empire of lies it is what they fear most. They need to keep everybody confused and they need you believing in a version of reality which simply is not true so you can self enslave, so you can aid them in your self immolation as you destroy your spirit and soul and destroy your free will. Maybe he's onto something or maybe it's all part of the drama. 